Good evening and welcome to the Deerfield Select Board Board of Health meeting August 1st, 2018 at 7 p.m. at the Deerfield Municipal Offices. Uh, first thing we'd like to start with the Pledge of Allegiance, so if you please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. This meeting is being recorded. Um, we have no minutes to approve at this time, so we're going to skip down to our appointments. Um, I'd like to appoint David Jensen to the building inspector's position here in Deerfield. So I make that motion to appoint Dave Jensen. Second. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Congratulations, Dave. That's it. Thank you for helping us out. Yeah, yeah thank you. Appreciate it. It's nice to see you again. It's been a few years. I'm sorry, I missed that. I said it's been a few years. It has been. I was trying to count it, but I... <laughs> I know, it's been a long time. <laughs> Don't. Bye-bye. Thank, Bye -bye. thank you later. You. Thank you. Okay, so we have no other town administrator reports. So we'll go down to our discussions on our marijuana host agreement um yeah. you know what I, this is the cultivation ag uh, host agreement yes i just want to yep. yep alter the record so any anyone knows that that is um oh oh geez um i made the motion right for dave yes yes Trevor second. nice second sorry it's good and it was three zero right okay um, so, just for the record, it's uh, the host agreement for Coulter Mate. Yes. Is it okay if I approach the Sure. Okay. So, it is, we're under understanding about this um, host agreement and that the host agreements has, um, has been a, a bit of a topic from a few months ago about producing the host agreements and the draft copies of the host agreements. Mm -hmm. And so, we're under the understanding that the host agreements should be dealt with together as one not that we're separating out the cultivation and that that wasn't ever understood by anybody um well what we're doing um i mean you can present us with a combined one we're not doing combined because you said you wanted them separated. Right, Correct. right. So we have separated out the two, right. but we yep. believe that the host agreement should be dealt with from the board's point of view together and not nope. to, you know, slide one through and then have another one that is delayed for what whatever reasons, unless there's some reasonable argument that there is a, a delay necessary. Well, I think one of the biggest, the biggest reason is we can have <laughs> multiple agreements uh, as far as the cultivation goes. But that's not the case with the retail sales. Uh, multiple agreements in multiple form? Or yes. one form with multiple copies of the same form? We're, we're, we're doing the, we're, we're going to have We can a, have either, really. Yes. But, but, but the whole idea is to generate one for cultivation that anybody could come right. for. And we can have many hosts, I mean, many cultivators in town. Because right. any, anybody can do it in the residential agricultural area that we approved. Can I be on the record of objecting that of we have moved to delay the dispensary host agreement in favor of a cultivation agreement that is, as of today, not even established whether or not we're going to have multiple versions of this agreement? I mean, I, I, oh, oh, I mean, well, I, well Mark, as soon as we agree, as yeah. soon as uh, hopefully we can go over this tonight, we're going to send it to the lawyers and we'll have this, the cultivation one done. Why is that? Why is, is there a what? reason for that? So that people can, have, can do this. But if they why wish. is that from the board's point of view has been that we've been delayed long enough on the host agreement and so that there was... Um, you know, no, so then we're not gonna, ready for a retail host agreement. Then we're, gonna, then we're going to take, then we're going to do why, the... Why is that? Because we need to take time to gather one together. We're, we're going to work on that next. That's, that's what we're going to start for next week. And it seems like from, from a business standpoint, the cultivation needs to get started a lot sooner than a 
retail establishment does. Ab ab absolutely not. There's no reason for that. There's only well, a political well. reason from the town's point of view of what I would political. like to hear the reason why, if there is well, a reason. Well, I mean, you have to grow the stuff to right. sell. You can't just... Right. right. You have to. Somebody has to grow it. In a dispensary host agreement, there would be the cultivation on site for the use of that dispensary. Mm -hmm. So again, all I'm asking for is some explanation of why it is that the dispensary's host agreement would be delayed. I'm not. Because I'm not. Re I'm not ready to approve one yet. We haven't. We. We, we what, have. What is, I, I understand that you're not ready for what reason is because Trevor I, all I'm asking. Well, well because I don't, I don't, I, this is my. For what reason? Second job. I have one night every other week to put something together and have a discussion with my members. Why has cultivation become a more important thing when because the it's, town because it's, meeting was very clear because that all the people were really in favor of having this dispensary. I'm just wondering why as because an explanation from political. I'm not trying it's to not argue. Political. With you. It's political. It's a timing issue. We why is it that the cultivation host agreement it's would easier. take less? Why is it easier? Because it's just easier. It's why, one why aspect. Why is it easier? Can you just explain it to me? Because and make it's me understand easier to lay family. out the information and they are two separate businesses. So we're laying out the first business, and then we'll go to the second one. Uh, it's that's not, not necessarily true in our case, so that is not. Well, I don't know how else to answer that question, but we're going through this one first. So you stand on record you do not ha know how to answer the question? I did not say that, Mark. Okay. I'm just asking a question. And I just gave you an answer. We're going to get together the host agreement for the, com for the cultivation tonight, and then we're going to work on the host agreement for the retail. Yeah. All I asked was why. Because I don't have time to do both at the same time. Why was cultivation put ahead of the dispensary? That's all I'm asking is why. Well, my thought process is that it gets you started so you can start cultivating because it's going to take you time to sell. So the, the idea is to get you guys going so that you can start producing product because from what I hear from the industry, it takes longer to produce than to sell. It's not... Uh intention of the board to delay the dispensary of course not. Post agreement of course no. not it's not an no, intentional I mean, there's no intention at if, all it's a it's but a it timing seems, i mean it just seems that way it that seems like we could get the cultivation out of the way and get you guys started first i can wait and do it all at once if you like that's I, what i would like so then, i would like them to be done but together. that's not your choice i'm not saying it's my choice right. i'm saying it is my request that's yeah. what that's we heard all. we I'm heard your request my request yeah, is that they would be done together and not that they would be accelerated on the cultivation for no reason there, the, there is a go ahead please. please the reason is simple is we don't have enough time and the reason is we can do one thing at a time and we just happen to choose the cultivation and so we're going to do the cultivation first and then we're going to look into the retail part of it. It seems that the retail part of it is more of a moving target for us because every time you know, we get another email or an update from the cannabis control thing, something's changed. And you know, it's really hard to establish rules that are going to, you know, our town has to live with when we don't have all the information that we have when the people who are designing this at the state level don't really have it all. So, so you're saying that the state has actually given all the guidelines for outdoor cultivation What's for the outdoor? town already? I don't know. No. No. Cultiv outdoor or indoor? Or what is cultivation. That? Cultivation. Well, it's just cultivation. It's just cultivation. If it's, it's a choice of the person to do it indoors or outdoors. Because they've had the dispensaries going for a long time, so I don't know why it is that it seems that the cultivation has moved ahead. That's all well, if, my what's only your, point. What's is your what objection to us doing it this way? Is th my objection to doing it together is none. I would yeah, love to see What's your objection it done to doing it separate? That it just like one is now a, and then another that one it in is two just weeks. Just a delay to the dispensary, and and as was brought it's up. It's not meant the, to be. I know, but can I just mm -hmm. speak for a minute? It was brought up at the last meeting that the dispensary would be very, very quick and that the cultivation would take a long time. It was brought up by um, Sun Group. That the cultivation, because of the um, mechanics of it, which mm -hmm. is true, but the process of building the dispensary, getting the licensing for the dispensary and everything, actually is going to require more time 
than mm -hmm. the cultivation. And so to, from the town's point of view, as long as the reason for doing it is simply internal and not that, oh, this is, the cultivation is going to take longer, which is the argument I've heard multiple times. We are interested in doing both and would like to see. We understand that. We would like to see this host agreement has been, first of all, there has been a host agreement made by the town already. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then there came up that the host agreement was going to be drafted as to what the new host agreement was. And we've waited. We've waited for mm -hmm. a few months as to when is this host agreement going to be done. And then at the last meeting, they shelved if you don't mind my saying, shelved the dispensary to move forward with the host agreement of the cultivation. And I, I am just asking what the reason is for doing that. If it's because the research, the um, amount of information or anything, is there any evidence or research that's done that says that that is the way it's normally done? I, I, I'd, I'd have to take well. issue with that. We didn't really shelf anything. We've got all of these things to work on and we can only work on one document at a time. There's a, a strong likelihood that the dispensary host agreement will be very similar to the uh, cultivation one. Could we and, try to do and, it together? And we <laughs> could, you know, I guess, uh, you know, do, hold off, but there doesn't seem to be any particular reason. So we're going to work on one, and when we're done with that, we're going to put it aside and we'll work on another one. Now, if one is ready, we could, we could entertain, you know, anybody that wants to do that. We also know that right now there's two people looking to do identical same thing, which is fine. But we also know that there's only one license going to be available for the retail because our district is so small. And conceivably, we could have 100 people growing this stuff Correct. in cultivation. And it is nothing more than it takes us time. It seems like everything gets done at snail's pace here, but we... Can't, we don't have the luxury of meeting for coffee tomorrow morning and talking about it and then tomorrow night talk about this. Anyway. Everything we do has to be here. And we have to notify people two days before we can come and this is just the way we're going to do it. Is that legal? It's well, legal. well, nobody's told me it's illegal. So I'm, I'm just wondering, to, no. because I was told all along that we were waiting for this host agreement to be well, done. Well, you then, are, you are. then the host agreement got separated, which I'm okay with all of that, that we separate it into the cultivation versus the um, dispensary. Okay. But it, it seems that the dispensary got pushed aside for cultivation, and I'm asking is, yes. it did why not. is that? It the, did the, not. Because we have dispensary, tonight. Because there, is there... On a host agreement, you're not talking about a special permit. You're not talking about the state licensing. So right. we should leave that out. Right. We're only talking about the host agreement. Right. And on the host agreement, we're talking about really pretty simple, straightforward negotiations which should be made between the town and the party. And so one of the questions that I had is, Trevor, you said earlier that you have the ability to make different host agreements with different partners on different percentages. Is that something, uh, oh. different payments or uh, costs or whatever? Sure. Is that something that would be um, decided now when you do the first one? Well, or is it something that's not that our, intention. our intention? Our intention well, is Well, I was intention. just wondering if it is. I think because we have you, that legality to, to be able to make a host agreement any way we want, as for long as we're whoever within. You want. For whoever we want within the law. But that's uh, our, our idea is to just make one uniform so mm -hmm. everyone is on an even level playing field. And so that, that, that was my yep. goal, is to start on the cultivation, get that done out of the way, then we can have multiple people decide to cultivate, and then we can jump right back into the, to the other because and get it done. Because there's only one dispensary that's going to be licensed in the town, as you all agree, yep. because of the at this um, time. Yep. logistics of it, right? At this mm -hmm. time, according to the bylaws, there's Correct. only one dispensary. And so that the actual decision of getting the host agreement for the dispensary is really a top priority. Of course and it not is. to be discarded after the cultivation because, as you said, the cultivation will be very quick and easy. Okay. So my request again is, could we please put them together on the time just so that when they come out, not when you develop the thing or whatever, but when they come out, when this host agreement is finalized by the Board of Selectmen, for the dispensary 
and the cultivation that they're done together. So okay. released well, together. That the yeah, that they're approved together. Not the approval of who gets them, but the draft copy of the mm -hmm. form that they're done together. They we are related. They are, first of all, totally related. You can't deny that. Mm -hmm. They are related. Yep. Um, the parties are related. And my question was, after the last meeting was, again, there is a logistical or building part about the um, cultivation that seems that it may take more time. You have worked in politics, you've worked with the state, you know about the licensing. It could be that the dispensary takes two or three times as long from when the host agreement to is get finalized to get it done. And so putting it off till later doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. well, it doesn't make sense for the town and it I doesn't certainly make sense. That's, that's yeah. not yeah. our the intention, Mark. And, and and I, just just so you know, I, I, I appreciate your input. We'll take that request into okay. consideration and, Thank you. and, and we'll Thank you very much. go forward. Thank you. Uh, Julie? That was 12 minutes of our time. <laughs> um, I just want to say um, I heard early on from you that you had had this discussion or this thought process earlier, and I thought that you did a good job answering his question in the first three minutes of your discussion. So I appreciate his effort to um, get a more definitive answer, but I thought that you guys handled that very well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So on with this. Okay. Um, I was working off of our lawyer's um, yep. generic one. Mm -hmm. So obviously we're going to do August, but I was going to chop off town administrator and put select board in. Um, okay. Cut this whole part out. All the way down through to yeah. agreement. Yeah. Can I make a copy of what you've got there just so I can work off the oh. same thing? No, I mean of the one oh. that she's got oh. marked up. I'll make three copies. Oh, okay. That way right. we can both do that. Um, Go ahead. No, just two, Trevor. Two. Cause, okay. Yeah, because yeah. Kip can just mark it up as we go. Yep. Okay, so that. the what? first substitute was what we were going to take. Did you, there was one that Wendy kept saying that was from, was it Lester? Lester. And I, uh, that was um, very similar to our lawyer's thing. Um, it was. Yeah. The I mean, most when I read them, most of the language on all of the articles were, were pretty similar. You know, some this of the things. This was a little bit more um, the local hiring, hiring. and the on site approval um, is a little bit more wordy. But actually, when you went back and you look at our lawyers, yeah. I actually like ours, it was a little bit more straightforward. How can we really enforce local hiring, though? You can't. It just you, says right. if, if permissible. Okay. Or if, you know, um, yep. and. Um, the only thing that I wanted to add was prevention of diversion. I thought that was an excellent, mm -hmm. um, I mean, this was in addition to security. That's the Lester one. That's the Lester one. So that was the one I was going to um, add. add in. Oh, I'm OK. <laughs> Thanks. Um, and the confidentiality. What? Uh, we have a draft host agreement for cultivation. Would you like it included in your provision? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Um, we, we have just used different models. Um, so um, when we got to the second page, we got down to community impact. Yep. Um, I was just crossing out and putting in cultivation Facilities. facility where it says yep. devolt. And then um, we were talking about uh, 25000 upfront payment. Yep. yep. To get started. Right. And yep. then it was going to be 14 months. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'll have to look at this. Um, so we got we got to this the uh, in, impact payment so mm -hmm. i was thinking 25,000 initial payment to cover like our lawyer expenses like right now and, and the um and building inspectors and right. health inspectors whatever um and then uh what i was going what i had suggested was we use um 
the company shall make annual payments to the municipality in the amount of one and a half percent of gross sales, period. And it would be 14 months following the date of the licensing. This what is for cult so this is for cultivation. That was on a different form, right? Yeah, this is on the um, so the sun group them all oh. together. And because that made sense from a cultivation yep. point of view, the 14 months, because we had, and a lot of the cultivation ones went up to 18 months. And I, I think, you know, from what I understand, that could be a little, I mean, that's a little bit more mm -hmm. than we exactly. need. So 14 months seemed okay. And then it was annual after that first payment. Based on their so sales. You, opening date. So you like that fact of having yeah. just a payment once a year? Yeah. For cultivation. Well, be, for no, cultivation. for cultivation. And but even still, they're going to... Well, because I, mean, I don't they're think... Not gonna, they're not going to, you Because your sales, you don't... The growth thing is, when you grow, is different than... Right, but, but I, that's my point, is it, it's going to take them a while, whoever, to do this. So once they start selling it, they're not going to let their customers wait a year to get paid. So we should get paid quarterly, regardless of when it starts. You know, those payments aren't, it's not a fixed number that we're asking but for. But not the first year, right? You're talking later on. Well, yeah, it, it could be the first year because if they're not selling anything, we wouldn't get anything. But once they start selling it, why should we wait well, a whole year to get the money? Because, Just, well, I, was, I thought cultivation, we would get yearly payments and that we would do quarterly payments on retail. No, we do quarterly on both of them. After the first year? But, well, if you, uh, but, but see, how would you... How would you get a good estimate if your growth your growth isn't quarterly? I mean, your your the your crop, your, your crop isn't quarterly, especially if it's an outside grow. Well, see, this is so, so it's new about this industry because, I mean, is it going to be more like a corn thing? It, it grows once and then they're done for the next year. I don't think. No, that, I think it's an it's ongoing, ongoing thing. Going. And that's why I think quarterly is fine because it, I understand it's going to take a while for that initial that crop, crop, but they're going to start harvesting it and growing more and har So I mean, once you're into this, it's going to be a constant revolving thing. It's not like growing yeah, corn. I, it's a seasonal thing. You know what I mean, Carol? Yeah. You know. No, I agree with that, but I, I was just worried that quarterly just is not. Um, how about like every? I don't know what the cycle is. What would does anyone know what the I cycle is the, for marijuana? The issue of collecting the money quarterly is good from the town's point of view for two reasons. Number one would be cash flow. Yes. It's better to get the money sooner. And the other is in the event of default, you wouldn't want to be losing a whole year's worth of payments from somebody that's going out of business because their sales really are quarterly, and these um, cultivation facilities are year-round and should be producing and selling year-round. Because it's indoor. And it doesn't, it doesn't make any difference because you can put it in place right away. And, and we, we know that the first year, you know, nothing's going to happen in the first couple of quarters. But once they start selling, we should always get our money. I mean, the yeah, state I wouldn't guess, wait. I guess, I, guess, I guess what would happen is if it was, if, they if you didn't selling, have anything, you would have You just wouldn't get anything. Get oh, That's okay. Right. All right, then I'm fine with that. Um, are, you, are you going to so, keep track of that? Or? Yes, I okay. am. I'm, I'm writing it right now. Okay. So the payments will be quarterly. Yep. Okay. After the first 14 months, period. Okay. Here's another thing to consider is how do you know, how do you verify this? I mean, well, on, the, on the retail end of it, it's well, pretty simple. Well, you have, a, your, you have, um, you have access to documentation. Statement, right? Yeah, you have documentation. Um, the okay. only thing that I, um, on, the, on the Lester thing, they had a thing about confidentiality, and I, I thought actually that that was a good. Of course, yeah. Um, the operator may provide the town the financial uh, information, investment materials, products, da da da, but it is considered confidential. Um, I, I think that actually is. Is, is really, it's a reassurance that we would get real information and that it wouldn't, And it know, wouldn't be out. There, it wouldn't right. be subject. Of course, they need to have their own privacy. The yeah. company does. Well, it's sort of like the NRCS stuff that we do from, a, you know, the conservation district. Mm -hmm. We sign off on projects and stuff, and they have to submit their information to us, but it's confidential. You know, I mean, it's public, but it's confidential in a way. You know what I mean? Um, 
It's not well, I, I guess, you know, I mean, there's a reality that you need to think about. And I mean, I, maybe you don't think this way, but I do. Um, we're gonna, if we have a, a place in town that grows this marijuana, and let's just say that they happen to have retail uh, spaces in other areas. How do we know that it's not going to their other retail spaces? So it's technically not uh, but that's a whole... Like, shall maintain financial records. Well, I mean, Kip, every plant has tracked. So if that plant goes to some other place... Well, I'm not saying the plant. I mean, the product off of it. Everything has to be tracked. You know, like if, if, if Farmer even A... Even the waste. Even the waste I, I understand, but if Farmer A, you know, has uh, a facility in town, then, you know, what are we going... You know, we're not going to get money on the wholesale end of it because it's all going to go to the retail. Do you know what I'm saying? No, when they when they produce. Are you going to consider? Are you considering that the farmer who grows it and then he has his own store that that's a wholesale yes, sale? To that yeah. store. Can, I, hmm. can I make a comment? As, yes. So, yeah. Kip, this is a good thing. I hadn't thought about this before. The idea of actually um, manipulating the price and the resolution to that which I hadn't thought of also before, would be something about a market price, similar to what the state does when they buy um, asphalt. They're buying asphalt on a job for the future. They don't know what the price of the asphalt will be, and so there's a market price. There is no market price set for marijuana, but it might be something that you could um, work that, into the agreement, because it is absolutely positive that the people that own cultivation here will have distribution in Boston or in mm -hmm. the city. Right. That yeah. is not, if right. that is, that's Definitely. what's going to happen. That's so the question would be, how would you control that? Well, that's why a lot of companies are doing, a lot of towns are doing price per pound. So it doesn't matter what they, how what they sell their pound for. And, and, and that's a good point, because what I, my point, and I, I don't know if I didn't explain it properly, but I'll, you know, if... When you when you make no, something, can, it doesn't matter of, if you're growing. Instead of the 15, 1.5%, we could just say $15. Per pound. Per pound. Per pound. That, per pound. that is produced. Yep. You so, know what I'm saying? Because otherwise, if it if it goes from the owner's, the farm owner's, to his store, that's not really a wholesale sale. I mean, it's something he grew okay, and so, it just goes to retail. So are we agreeing on $15 a pound? It sounds so well, I was right. wondering also, we submitted a host agreement with a 3%. Waitley is at 3% for cultivation. Why is it Deerfield is offering up 1.5%? Um, well, because we were, you, we, you have to I'm track, you <laughs> have to track the, your expenses. We were asking for 25000 up front and for each host agreement or each cultivation mm -hmm. agreement. And then we were asking for one and a half percent. As much as no, I understand. I heard that. And I that was and you're why, no, why three why, versus I was wondering why so the other towns are asking for three, and we're only asking so much cheaper than lately in surrounding towns. Because so I think it's uh, competitive. It's a good answer. It's a competitive, and it's also that you have to be honest about what your expenses are, and from the town side. from the town side, and and to just exorbitantly, you know, suck all the money out of a business because we can just isn't. The right way to do it. I think we want to cover our expenses, be honest about what we do, and then, and then obviously have enough to cover our police, our security, our education. You know, we want to be fair about so it. So one and a half percent of a price of two thousand dollars a pound is that, what, that, thirty. That's $30 what they were. Is that right? Well, we were anticipating. Um, I think we were anticipating fifteen. Um, Hundred dollars or sixteen hundred dollars a pound, and as an estimate of what the gross sales would be. Um, well, obviously, well, if, if, Carol. But just so you know that if if you if you say that the, whole, the wholesale price is sixteen hundred dollars a pound, three percent that's forty eight dollars. I know. But so I, if I, you go down to fifteen dollars, that's. That's well, only like three quarters of a percent. If you multiply out the forty-eight dollars per pound, okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Then you look at the money. I don't know how you can justify any expenses that were clear. How many pounds did you expect to produce in a year? Oh, well, I think just yeah. How much do I expect yeah. to produce? Yeah, as a as a or not you, but a, a regular based on the facility of you of the size that you were thinking. I mean, I would. 
probably take for um, conversation tonight the numbers that Joe gave because that was that's the cultivation that would start. We're really looking at dispensary and cultivation for the dispensary, whereas that cultivation um, over at uh, Mill Village is just cultivation. There's no dispensary. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, what did he have for numbers? If I recall correctly, seventeen hundred. Right, I think you're right about that. I mean, he's got the, I don't have the numbers on that facility. That's a big grow facility and a real cultivation facility. With our facility, it is really just cultivation within the facility, and there's maybe additional cultivation, but not on the scale that they're talking so, about. And, it's and you were saying there's 1,750 pounds per month? It's my memory. Okay. Yeah, I think he's right about that. I, I mean, that tracks with what... Um, you know, from Washington State. Um, For production per square foot. Yeah. I mean, uh, we're, we only have figures from Washington and Colorado, so. You know, you might be um, also simplifying things by doing it by the square foot as opposed to by the pound. It, it's difficult. It's easy for the town to track square footage. Very, very simple, clear, easy. When you start tracking pounds and dollars and everything else, as Kip suggested, it, it can get cloudy depending yeah. on, on what don't, the situation is. Pounds work out the same of 1.5% versus $15. Well, no, because well, 1% of 16 is 16. So No, but that's a, based on the price of a pound. Right. So if you do, if you do, um, if you're talking 1,700 pounds, or 17, yeah. 1,750. Yeah, times 12. It's like 21,000 pounds a year times um, 15%. We worked it out last time. And that's why we stuck with the $15 or 51.5%. Right. I just want to make sure we cover our costs, but we're not. Well, you know, we, we need to be you, fair, and that's. Right, but. Yeah. You got to also understand this is only for five years. Correct. We oh, can't yeah. extend this out. So, right. I you know. know I, I mean, I understand the state's concern about um, not, if you will, raising the price too much because then it makes the black market uh, pot, you know, yep. more desirable. Sure. And, and I get that. Uh, but in all fairness, when you look at the dollar amounts of of this stuff, I don't think if you're if something is selling for sixteen hundred dollars. A pound, five dollars, one way or another, from what we take, is, does not affect that that much. The the other thing to look at also in this um, issue of the profitability of the actual industry will tend to go down over time, not up. And so you wouldn't want to start low thinking you're going to go up because that's not going to happen. happen. You would okay. try to start on the higher side and then say, well, you know, if things get tough, we can always reduce it at the next um, time or even under an uh, under um, application or something. Uh, and, I, and I, to be honest with you too, I, I don't think that we can spend enough money on educating kids at a young age. I mean, I think this should start almost in grade school up through. Yeah. Oh, no, and, that and, was our intention. You know, and... Uh, I, I have to reach out to Cat at the mm -hmm. front. I forgot, but yep. I'm going to. Yep. We're going to have an elementary school program as well. Oh. Um, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I think I think we should do it. If you, I mean, I, I wanted the, so I wanted we, some money up front. Right, but why don't, and why, that was why, why I don't was, we do twenty dollars a pound? But I, for what's produced, and not call it a wholesale thing, because I, I think somebody could pick that apart. Because if they're growing it for their own store, it's not a wholesale sale. And if they grow it and sell it to Joe Smith in uh, Barry, then that's a wholesale sale. So you want to do twenty dollars? A pound that they produce. Okay. Twenty dollars a pound is only one percent of two thousand, right? Well, well, they wanted they wanted to do fifteen, and I. That's why I'm I, I'm just I wondering know. why the price is going down at the initial meeting of the host agreement when typically because we're we, we 
we're just trying to work in the in the I usually think, they, usually we're on this side trying to beat right. you guys I, down. I think just what we're trying we're welcome to do is to take a <laughs> welcome and take a, a <laughs> check if you want to give a gift to the town that'd be great. Uh, I just want to make sure we're fair we're to businesses trying to be fair. and yeah. and fair to this. I mean, this is very new. I mean, uh -huh. the, the business end of it is not new to me, but this product is new. And, and unlike from your side of the table, you know, you all have costs and, and you're looking to make money, and that's great. The town can't do that. We have to charge what it's going to cost us, and we don't really know what that is. So if we come across where it's too high, you know, we don't want the state to come because I've already read things where the state's already going after town saying, hey, you know what, we're not going to we're not going to accept line. your agreement. Yeah. And you know, we could you guys could be in a boat where if we make it too steep and you go and do all this application state and they say we're not going to honor Deerfield stuff, you go back and negotiate. And so. Agreed. There's a lot of problems Agreed. here. Agreed. You know? I'm, I'm looking at the other, I'm really looking more closely at the host agreement from Wheatley because that's the closest one in time and in logistics to where we are. Right. And that one was at 3%. We put ours in at 3%. I'm happy if you go to 2%. I live in town. My daughter goes to school here. If you start going 1%, I'm thinking, why? Why is it that we're going so low? So, because it's not just me, it's everybody else that could grow. And it's not just Yap either. There could, as you said, be 100 people growing here, all this stuff, and the town giving money away, to me, as a town resident, no, I'm not okay with 1%. I think it's given, uh, I think it's given the, the well, house away. Well, 3% is $48 a pound. We need to, if we want to... At, at, what, at what price? You, 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 you can spend money really well. Don't tell them that. I know. I've sat here too long. Oh, I, it's 1600 Kip, that is not factual. Now stop right now. We, we won't have get an into obligation it. I understand to be so, realistic. I do. Okay? And we have to figure out uh, realistic expenses to cover expenses. So I have an, another we, idea, which might you might consider, just consider, which is that as the price of marijuana per pound is lowered, the um, amount, the percentage would be lowered, a floating scale, so to speak, because if right now you're selling at $3,000 per pound, obviously you can afford $50 a pound. It's not much. If the price of marijuana goes to $800 a pound, which it very well could do, we're not giving up fifty dollars a pound. It would be very, very difficult, and so that a, a floating scale might be. Well, it would be floating because it would be based on. Well, no, I thought we just decided yeah, um, we wanted a flat dollar. I think the fifteen dollars per pound is, is appropriate. I think, I think it's a you little think low. It's low. I think it's low. You know, maybe not the fifty dollars, but I mean, it, and it's hard. 20, we don't, 20 I'm fine with twenty. But we don't really have any statistics to base our costs on. It. You know? That's why I asked for this up front. And this, well, and then we can review it. And uh, Lakeville have also signed for fifteen dollars a pound. Um, I mean, I think we can. I what think would it we cost? can kind of nail down two ideas and then run this by. Um, if, I want to talk to Wendy about it, obviously, and then run this by. Um, I mean, what's it cost? Well. It costs about sixty-five thousand dollars a year for a police officer, and roughly sixty-five thousand no, dollars for a teacher. No, it's more like seventy-five. Right. Or seventy-five thousand. With benefits. So seventy-five. So there's one hundred fifty thousand dollars for one teacher to, to teach this, and one police officer to to uh, you know be involved with the uh, the schools. So there's one hundred fifty thousand dollars. So you know and then there's going to be you know other not big expenses, but you know our town's going to take it's going to take our accountants more time and um, our lawyers. It's, but if it's you tough run thing. 20 bucks times 1,700 pounds times 12 months. So it's just one. It's 34,000. Times 12. It's 408,000. Right, and that's just one. So how are you? And that's right, and that's. Mm -hmm. More than we need for covering our costs. Yeah, for that. And that's only one. And we want to have multiple. Or we'd hope to have multiple. 
and, and by having multiple, it, in a sense, it lowers the burden for those people too, because you know we're not going to have duplicate. I don't, I don't know, why don't we pick twenty? I mean, it's okay. I'm, we'll, I'm for fine now, with Let's 20. just pick twenty, and we'll go on with the rest of it. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to with a flat per per pound. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, I'm yes. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. And there's two things. Um, as Mark mentioned about the price coming down, so then a flat fee could become it, a flat, flat fee, fee is really not a good idea in this market for the long term. Can I can you finish, Mark? Yeah, go ahead. So the flat fees in these market do plus, you know, and I understand if you get your your you know, you're concerned about the traceability of it, you know, saying, well, how many pounds do you produce and how much of dollars. But with this dollars per pound, you have the same traceability problem because you still, how do you really know how many pounds? So we haven't solved the, the accountability of the growth or the mm -hmm. growth facility in, in numbers. So the percentage makes sense because then you need the price goes down. Okay, it's still a percentage. And of course things have to be audited yearly or however, but most of this product is traceable anyway. Right. You know, very much every plant, all those things. Yeah. So your wholesale, the grower is selling a wholesale either to its own, you know, uh, Agreed. dispensary. It is traceable. It, 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 it's traceable. So so the percentage, I would be much more in favor, and I wouldn't worry about the, you know, well, if we do percentage, how do we trace it? We should have to trace the pounds or the percentage anyway. Okay. Somehow you have to hold uh, the facility that comes in your house. It's okay. I'm the one taking notes, so I can do all okay. the scratch. And, 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 I, and I appreciate that point, and, and I understand that. So maybe my sticking point was by calling it wholesale. If we just get rid of it and just say 3% uh, of 2% or 2% of what they, whatever it is okay. of you know what they grow. Uh, okay. So we're not wholesale because you see what I was okay. concerned about is that you know people who grow it and you know use it in their no, own store versus selling it to another guy's store. That's an, a, a good attorney could easily argue the point, well this is not a wholesale sale because mm -hmm. we're growing it for ourselves. Okay. okay. So we'll right. we'll take out wholesale. Okay. And it's two percent. Okay. 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 Is that okay? Is that okay? Yes. I mean, if you, if you have a concern of you know the price discrepancy, you could do you know say it's three thousand dollars a pound of start. Say charge charge a fixed rate and then a percentage, whichever is less of the two. So if it drops to five hundred, you only get the three percent. That's all right. I think we would rather just two percent seems to be the better choice for. Cultivators, that's fine with us. It will generate enough to cover our costs plus. So I'm not I'm not worried about that. So in a, in a situation, so we're talking about two percent. If you have, if you have a uh, and I this has to be simple too. I mean, we're trying to make this simple. And I really I, and I don't want to mix these two up, but I'm going to have to. So we're going to get if if a guy's growing it here and selling it here in town. We're charging him two percent of everything he grows. Sales. We just, we just um, grows. Did I say sales? I'm sorry. We're going to charge him two percent of everything he grows, and then when it gets over to a store, we're going to charge him three percent of everything he sells. Yep. Okay. Based on the tax. That's the yeah, tax. Yeah, that's tax. the tax, tax. The retail tax. Yep. But that's what the town okay. voted. Yep. We voted the full three percent. Okay. So it's two percent. Yep. Um, the initial payment is 14 months after um, they start, they get the license. And then um, we're going to go quarterly mm -hmm. after the first 14 months, okay? Yeah. And there's, so there's initial, let me just go over it again. Initial payment of $25,000 to cover any upfront costs to us. 2% after 14 months, and then quarterly after the 14 months, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I got to write down quarterly here, make sure we get that clear. Um, documentation, uh, you know, uh, I just wanted to add under that part the confidentiality part. 
I mean, is it a state regulated thing? I mean, are they the people who come in and document? I mean, I don't know how that works. Um, no, normally in something like this, you would ask for the accounting records from the company. We do this in royalty payments, sure. and you submit um, accounting for the quarter of what it is that you owe. And then the typical language is that in any event that the town felt those numbers were wrong, they would be able to go and audit them. That's, but, that's typical language in royalties. I don't know sure. how it would be here. But in this industry where all these plants are labeled and traced and stuff like that, is there going? Is the state going to establish somebody to go out to all of these growth facilities to check from time to time, or is it an no, honor system? I think no. you'd be. They're going to leave it to it's you if you were to security. audit it. It's our security plan. Part of our security plan. The security plan is how they document the plant, how they trace the plant from start to finish, including. So waste. are we going to have to hire somebody to do that? Probably. I mean, does I, I mean? I disagree with that. And on the side of the accountability side of it, typically what's done is you accept what the farmer, cultivator, whatever submits to you. If you looked at it and said, 100,000 square feet, I see they're growing, blah, 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 they only got five pounds, exaggeration of it, yep. then you would audit it. And when you audit it, all the records from all, when he's saying accountability and traceability, all those records are accessible to you, but you would be required to audit it. Um, as far as who pays for the audit, that stuff is up for negotiation, but in, in general, that's the way it's done, is through an, an audit if you didn't trust their numbers. There's gonna so be, to think of. the state's gonna be doing inspection. Yeah? Yeah, supposedly. That's why they're charging so much. Um, I mean, that's what we're being told. Okay. Um, uh, so anyway, I want to keep this in here. To the extent that the um, community impact payment is determined to be in excess of the town's cost, that excess portion of the payment should be considered a gift. Mm -hmm. So there's no, we're trying to be reasonable, but reasonable rounding up. Sounds good. Okay. Um, no contest of local taxes. That means they have to pay everything um, and be in good standing. Um, the our, I was going to substitute some of the local preference for um, local vendors and local hiring, but actually our, the wording was um, much more simple and the approval of the manager, our, um, the lawyer did a pretty good job. So I actually didn't want to change that. Um, the only thing I did want to add was um, Lester had this prevention of diversion. It's a, you have your security plan, but then you also have this, you know, it's sort of like a prevention, like gamblers, you know, um, counseling kind of thing. I don't know if you want to read it. If you don't haven't read it, just to refresh yeah, your memory. Uh, I, I thought it was yeah, excellent. Excuse me. Uh, 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 yeah. I wanted to add that to the security one. Um, and I think this this kind of tracks what the CCC is already doing, right? Didn't, weren't we going to put something in there that said follow the CCC guidelines on training and yeah. all of that I, stuff? Yeah, I just remember we were talking about making sure workers had some personal protection mm -hmm. and some training, and and that was that was uh, right because this says um, and so strictly adhere to the CCC regulations right. as to certification amounts and time periods and, and that sort of eliminated us trying to come up with our own standards right We're just we don't want to duplicate right exactly and uh, and uh, they're supposed to be looking at it so mm -hmm. um, I thought we could just add that in 
if it was okay with you. Yeah, I, I think it's good. Okay. But it talks, you know, I, I really, yeah, I think we're going to end up having to almost hire somebody full time to deal with all of these things. Well, uh, I mean, we were originally thinking that's why we wanted the 25000 up front. Is to, it was a lot of administrative to, work. Yeah, out but of we our wanted office. to see if we could get Cat to work with us initially, and then we, once we start having some income, we can actually have a program, but um, have her have her as a consult you know pay her mm -hmm. for consulting and help us start to design different well, they programs might, for different age group kids they might already do something like that. Yeah. they do yeah. I, I, I asked lisa um this afternoon when i came in earlier and she said that the um you know the cat was was on top of that and had gone to all the me different meetings and was yeah. working with dph so that made me feel like that's a good start and I, I like her. I, she's very committed to oh, yeah. uh, county kids. Sure. So, I, I, I mean, I don't know how, if we have to go out, we'll probably have to do an RFP or something. But you can word the RFP so that we can maybe work with her instead. Okay. Um, so then we've got to the last page was um, we have to do five, five years as max. Mm -hmm. And the, but again, the word wording seemed to be okay. It's just we couldn't do it. I, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear. What oh, I'm, uh, originally our lawyer said 15-year agreement. Yeah, but you can right. only be so five. You can only do five. Only five. So we're just substituting oh, okay. the um, five years for 15. Yeah. And um, the six-month notice is going to be the same and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Yep. So do you agree that that's pretty straightforward? Yes. Okay, that's it. Is there any chance that we can uh, look at the dispensary um, agreement tonight? Just saying um, that because there really is some urgency well, as the um, dispensary opening in the sugar loaf shops is already entered. Um, well, um, we were probably going to do this for next week but yeah, mm -hmm. I haven't seen anything I mean, else isn't it almost to done them. like you said they're, they're pretty well, much they should be almost the same. similar but we you know we don't have any of the other ones to compare it to, um, and that's you have your own no. <laughs> well yeah I and you have ours yeah I, no, I think we're, we're gonna take it up we're, we're gonna take it up next week I'm, yeah. I'm just saying is you do understand that the uh, competing party with Deerfield Naturals has moved to Sugarloaf Shops and is dealing with Waitley, who seems to move very quickly. And so I'm just not under, uh, understanding why it is that we're delaying just the host agreement. I'm not talking about special permit. We know about I all know. the other things. I'm just talking about host agreement. Yep. And well, if we disagree with it, if there's something wrong, we should work that out now. We're here now. We've already come up to most of these conclusions. We're on the topic. Yep. If there's something that you don't agree with, let's talk about it now. Well, we're, we're going to send this off to the lawyer, have a, get a draft, review it. We, we'll start working on the retail end of it as well. But we need to get some of the other examples together and then you know, have time where we can read through it all because we don't, otherwise we'd be sitting here for an hour or two just reading. Had you, and had you given a retail host agreement as well? I just had, I know you yeah. gave me the cultivation. I just couldn't remember if you had also given a. Do you have a manufacturing one as well? Uh, their manufacturing usually goes on. Um, well, we were going to do it separately. Um, well, actually, the the yep, just making sure. Actually, I think the manufacturing would be under. Well, this is your company. If the this is your company. Yeah. Yes. If well, you said earlier that New England. Or, no, I said you already have. No, oh, you said somebody Naturals was going into Sugarloaf Shop. Yeah, the um, Harvest. Um, no, he, mis he misspoke. Oh, you misspoke. Yeah, okay. Because okay. um, oh, you said, you said Deerfield Naturals, Naturals is going into Sugarloaf okay. Shop. And I was like, I'm like, <laughs> no, not us. <laughs> I'm no, confused actually, enough. Um, <laughs> actually, if, <laughs> if, if, oh, geez. 
Um, I'm sorry. Carol. We can probably re uh, overlay the dispensary onto the cultivation host agreement for the most part next week if we um, commit to going through these different examples. And you're right, the manufacturing probably would be the retail because the um, Oxford Picker property is off. Um, that was, that was um, um, you know. Mark, would you, would you mind sitting down talking to him? Like if, the, if, the, um, if the manufacturing was to go uh, wholesale, then it would fall under. This is, a, again, a, a, some com complexity of the um, cultivation versus wholesale as a terminology. Mm -hmm. So if the manufacturing was wholesale, meaning you were manufacturing in Deerfield, let's just say, for instance, Kip is growing it, selling it into my facility, we're manufacturing it and wholesaling it into Boston. This is a realistic uh, possibility that would happen. How is the town gonna deal with that through the host agreement is it, it should be addressed now. So the wholesale, where you said cultivation, I think wholesale should be wholesale. That stays at the 2%. And then the retail, which is everything that goes out of the dispensary, goes to the 3%. Right. And then yes. whatever else the details are of right. it. So that the manufacturing really should go under the wholesale agreement. In If you're manufacturing for yourself, of right. course, it would go out under the retail agreement because it's in that side. Correct. But I, if there is a separate manufacturing, we should probably still agree on a some kind of fee that we want to do on the manufacturing separately on the product or just for the host agreement? The host agreement. I mean, I still think we should still come up with, I mean, it, it wouldn't be too much work to just do the manufacturing anyway. Can we do it tonight? Um, no. I mean, I'd just be happy to discuss it about it tonight so that we get it out well, of the way. Well, what are is your, it, what, it, what input do you have on the? Uh, I'm, open, on the I'm open to what the board suggests, as you know. I'm really open to what the board suggests and willing to sign on and move forward. I just don't want delays. Well, that was why we met tonight instead yeah. of waiting. I know. I'm supposed to. So, again, if you're saying that you think that, that you want the uh, manufacturing wholesale to have a separate fee, fine. Then they would need a separate host agreement so that it has a separate fee on a separate page and it's not related to cultivation. So you'd have three. One for cultivation one for manufacturing and one for retail distribution. That was our, that's what we that's thought. Great. That's what we thought. That's what we thought. And the yeah. fee is all the same. And the percentages would be different. And that the wholesale percentage is 2% and the retail is three. Is that what your thoughts were? <clears throat> yes. Um. So we should send these on to uh, Lisa. Yep. yep. I, I will um, organize this for Wendy to forward to Lisa so that we can have an answer for next Wednesday. Mm -hmm. We can have that, we should and have that all set. Just right. And we, then, then. I'll be in touch with her and I'll just, I'd like to get it and see it in its final draft. So of course. We, you got the numbers? You know, so it all seems yep. to make sense. Yes. What? Do, would you like us to submit a manufacturing one as well? Yes. Sure. And then um, is there any way that we could just take, a, I don't know, with Wendy just to review to make sure. she Matt's going to take the notes that we got from tonight to change the numbers to what you guys had agreed to. So we'll update our these um, draft host agreements. And then, I mean, we could submit them to Wendy as well. Well, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing minutes. And, okay. Um, I have to redo these because it's pretty messy. Um, and I will be here tomorrow afternoon to give these to Wendy before, because I have a meeting here tomorrow night. Um, so, uh, I mean, they'll probably be available for tomorrow afternoon. Okay? Okay. Because I, I, mean, I have to just okay. redo no them. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm good. 
Okay. Um, I just wanted to pass out. I know, um, Trevor, you have uh, another meeting tomorrow night, but this is the Deerford Wa River Watershed Communities Emergency Planning Group um, agenda for tomorrow night. Oh, this is tomorrow night? This yeah. Is here? Sorry, I can't make that. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. no. That's okay. Um, I think I have a really good group. I've been working good. on it the last two days. So I have, um, I think we're going to have a really good core group from at least probably 10, 10 towns. Nice. So nice. Um, I'm really excited about this. And um, we have a good agenda. Bob Berry's going to be here um, as well. And so we will have a scent plan supplement. Um, to do with flooding and I I got a I had a very good conversation today with um, the dam safety office office of dam safety um, and I got information on how to go to FERC in New York which is the regional office that covers New England mm -hmm. and um, get maintenance records and you go I, I got the I, I figured out how to use the FERC library so you can get all the stuff that's on the online dams. Mm -hmm. um, and that gives you the latest dam inspections. And then also, um, you know, I'll file a complaint that there's no EAP and right. all that kind of stuff. Keep but on that. So I'll keep on that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all for right. doing this. Yep. Sure. No, no problem. I think it will be very good. And um, it will just be a lot of work. But we'll, we'll be happy in the end. Okay. All right. I make a motion to adjourn. Any public comment? Oh, public comment. Any public, public comment? comment? Anybody want to kick it? Yep. So the old agreement is now going to order. Next week will be oh, yes. yes. That's the goal. The goal is, is the goal, to have have, have the pay. agreement ready for next week. And, and the outline of the host agreement, we should be able to use for the manufacturing and for the dispensary. We just have to go through, you know, other, the state, you know, the communities in the state that have already had host agreements and pick out stuff that we like, um, or just compare it. We're, sure. we're trying to be- Make sure it's safe and fair. I mean, we don't want to be um, the, low, uh, the lowest common denominator, but we also don't want to be so high-end that there's no reason to come to Deerfield. So, well, and, and, we're, and you have to figure out how, what, what are our true costs. So we have to think about what we'd actually be doing as far as inspections and stuff like that. So that will be public at the next select meeting next week? Yes. We hope. I don't want to put pressure yeah. on the lawyer and Wendy, but, it, but that's our goal. That we'll the, be yeah. to get that done. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how quick the lawyers can turn that around, but... Well, I think I, it's, it's, not, it's their agreement. We worked right. off their agreement to so begin be with, so it quick. should be fairly quick. Okay. We're good. All right. Take that motion again. Make that motion to adjourn. Motion to dissolve. 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 <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.